sound the jingle bells and put on your tinsel pants because it's time for my Christmas craft series. If you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. I would love it for you to see my videos every Friday. The first DIY is using a tinsel Christmas tree that you'll find at probably every Dollar Tree. The first thing you need to do is get rid of that tinsel so it's very easily cut and unwound from the tree. As you go along you'll see that there are some snowflakes and other little embellishments which I saved in case I wanted to use for later and as it turned out I did use some of those snowflakes later on so put those to the side and remove all the tinsel from your tree. Next, you'll need to get some wire cutters and remove all of the little plastic knob-like things that was holding the tinsel around the tree. So just trim those off. They're really easily cut. Just trim them all down the sides off of your Christmas tree. Using the white paint of your choice, paint your Christmas tree up. It would probably be easier to use a spray paint, but I didn't have any on hand, so I just used my regular white Waverly chalk paint. Once that is dry, then use some black acrylic paint or chalk paint, whatever you have on hand, to put some little rusted spots. I like, well, I guess it's not really rust, but like chipped spots. I like for these to look like they are uh, enamel, like white enamel, with the little black chippy spots. And, you know, feel free to do a different color. Use brown. It might would make it look rusty. But the whole point of this is to make this tree look like it's metal. You could use whatever your heart desires, but I'm decorating my tree using just regular old jute string or twine from the Dollar Tree. So I hot glue a piece of it to the top and then I just wound round and round and round my tree, hot gluing as I went. And I kind of tried to do a zigzag, not just straight around. I tried to accomplish sort of a zigzag pattern. The next thing I added to my Christmas tree was the little tiny pine cones that you get a whole bag of a bunch of them at the Dollar Tree for only a dollar. And these come in such great handy for all my Christmas decorations. I just love them. Now our Christmas tree is going to be standing up and we're going to use this little crate that you get at the Dollar Tree as its base. So peel the sticker off of it and then hot glue, well, E6000 and hot glue a combination because the E6000 is a permanent bond and the hot glue is a temporary just to hold it into place. Hot glue your tree to the crate. And as you can see, there's a plastic piece on the tree that kind of comes out and down the back of the crate, as you can see right here and that makes a wonderful it makes it so much easier to get your tree to stand up since it already has that plastic piece then to decorate the base of the tree i'm using some glitter uh snow drape and i kind of knocked some of that glitter off i wasn't it was like multicolored glitter and i kind of knocked some of it off and i hot glued a piece of that drape onto the front and then once I got that kind of scrunched up and looking like snow, then I cut another piece to do on the back and that hides that plastic piece that comes off and down the back.
for the front of the crate, I used an ornament that I got for a dollar at the Dollar General store. And I just cut the tag off and glued it right to the front. It was such a pretty ornament. I wish I had more of those because I could do a lot of DIYs with those. Then I wanted to add one of the little white uh, light up Christmas trees to the front, which I won't be lighting it up. If you plan to light it up, this don't do this part because it's going to be glued down, but I didn't want to light it up. I wrapped the trunk of the tree with jute twine just to make it match a little better, and then I hot glued it to the front. And I think I forgot to mention that the little white Christmas tree actually comes from the Dollar Tree too. Remember the snowflake that you saved from earlier off of the tinsel? One of those I decided should be the topper for the Christmas tree, so I just put a little doll of a hot glue and put him right on top. And there you have the finished rustic Christmas tree, and I absolutely adore him. DIY number two may very well be the neatest thing I feel like I have ever made. And it was all using this red plastic container from the Dollar Tree. And all I did was paint it with my trusty Waverly white chalk paint, two coats for good coverage. And then I used Waverly truffle brown chalk paint to give this sleigh some dimension. So I very lightly dry brush some of this brown paint all over all sides of this sleigh. Now for the legs of the sleigh. I don't know if legs is the right word. Uh, skis, um, feet, I don't know, but I used wreath hangers and I bend, as you see here, I bend. They're really easy to snap apart. And once I got one bent and snapped apart, I used it as a guide to bend and snap apart the second one. So they were both the same length and is it really, is it legs, feet, skis? Let me know in the comment, what do you call the part that makes the sleigh go? Anyway, then I sanded the edges so that they weren't sharp. And I used uh, four of the dark color tumbling blocks out of the tumbling Jenga game from the Dollar Tree. Oh, the wreath hangers were from Do Dollar Tree too. And I used those to I didn't want the sleigh to be sitting right on the legs, <laughs> so that's what I used the little blocks for to kind of set it up and give it some, I don't know, realistic height. Um, here you see I use hot glue to put these blocks down, but I do recommend a combination hot glue and E6000 because I did have a little trouble with the blocks wanting to stick so eventually I did go back and do E6000 along with the hot glue so do save yourself trouble and do that first so hot glue and E6000 your blocks down and then once they are down you will put your legs onto the blocks Our Dollar Tree sleigh is almost ready to go. The only thing left was to add a little embellishment and I used this little ornament from the Dollar General that I got for just a dollar and I hot glued it to the side. It would also be neat to hot glue the very same ornament to the other side, but I only had one, so we're just going with what we have here. Then I wadded up some of that uh, snow drape and put two Dollar Tree Christmas trees in the sleigh 
you could put presents in there or whatever your heart desires but I just love how this sleigh turned out. DIY number three is so simple and easy to do. It is just using this Merry Christmas sign that you get at the Dollar Tree. They have all kinds of colors in it, I believe. This is the one that I chose because I kind of like gold lately. But anyway, it doesn't matter because you're going to be painting it. And I used my Waverly White Chalk Paint. You could use spray paint, whatever you have on hand, to paint your sign. Now I went with the brown twiggy floral from the Dollar Tree, but you could certainly use whatever green floral or Christmas floral, whatever you like or whatever you have. But I just snipped a few of those branches off to make, I wanted there to be a swag at the bottom of my sign. So I put about three pieces on one side three pieces on the other side to make this swag and then I tied them with jute string and then I went ahead and wrapped jute string around the center of them and hot glued in place to make sure that they were good and stuck together. And for added decoration, because why not, and I love them so, I put two of the tiny little pine cones right in the center. So there were a couple of different ways that you could add jute string to make a hanger, but I decided to go with two loops because I may want to hang this on a big wreath later on instead of hanging on the wall. If I were going to hang it on the wall, I probably would have made just one piece of string hanger. But um, anyway, since it's going to go on a wreath, I made two loops with my jute string. Here they are all together and I love how rustic and farmhouse with the whites and the natural colors mixed with the greenery. It's so my style and I'm going to love putting these out every single year. Thanks for watching everybody. Hit that subscribe, give me a big thumbs up and you can follow me over on Instagram Pinterest, and my blog, thedistressedprincess.com. See you next time.